Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to start a new series and uh, this part will be the introductory part of this series. So I will introduce you the device, I will talk about it a little bit and then finally I will show you some uh, potential applications and in the upcoming parts I will go deeper and I will show you how to use this device, how to program uh, the microcontroller that I'm going to use in this project and so on and so on. So the subject of this series is this guy here, especially this linear CCD, which is a TCD 1304 uh, linear CCD. It consists of uh, 3648 uh, elements packed next to each other. Uh, each pixel in this linear array is 8 micrometers wide and 200 micrometers tall. So if you put these pixels next to each other, then they will be 29.1 millimeter long together. So that's basically the effective area or effective length which can detect uh, light. And yeah, this is a black and white detector in that sense that, that there are no color filters and so on, or no pixels for different colors. So here we just measure the intensity of the incoming light. And then uh, that is translated to an electrical information and that electrical information is then captured by this microcontroller which is a STM32 F401 uh, based microcontroller. I picked this particular device because they are nowadays much more cheaper than the blue pill and they are more powerful. Uh, more memory, higher uh, clock, uh, more uh, timers and so on and so on. So this is more suitable for this uh, yeah, somewhat uh, demanding task. So we have this linear CCD on this uh, circuit and then these few components or these few components uh, serve the CCD. We have a hex inverter, uh, two capacitors, three resistors and a transistor which basically amplifies the uh, outcoming signal uh, from the CCD and uh, that will go towards the uh, AD converter of this microcontroller. And as you can see, everything is installed on a neat uh, PCB. And this is a good opportunity to introduce you today's video sponsor, uh, PCBWay. So from a closer view, these are the PCBs. And you can see that the top part is the component part. So you can see the footprints of each component uh, and for the pins. And you can see the conductive traces. And on the back of this uh, PCB, we just have the ground plane. And I'm going to show you a few things on their website, so you can have even more fancier uh, PCBs than this. So once you have your PCB design ready, you should head to PCBWay.com and order your PCB from them. And this is really easy and straightforward process. You just go to PCB Instant Quote, select the desired option, standard or advanced PCB, upload your Gerber files and finish by customizing your board. And speaking of customizing, I recommend you to check their advanced PCB option because they recently added some nice solder mask colors. So even if you don't want to have some special board, but want to have some unique looking uh, PCB, you should check this option out and select your favorite color. And let me tell you that you can even win with this unique looking board, several valuable prizes, because you can participate in PCBWay's fourth PCB design contest and by participating in this contest you can really have some really nice prices. And if this would not be enough for you, then once you have ordered something from them, you should really share a detailed feedback which can lead you to participate in another event from PCBWay and then by sharing your order feedback you can also have some really nice prices. So coming back to this circuit, the linear CCD needs uh, three clock signals. One is the master clock. This is typically around one or two megahertz. So it's a more or less high frequency clock. And then we have a shift gate SH, uh, which also has to be clocked in a certain way. And then there is an integration clear gate uh, ICG, uh, which also needs some kind of uh, clock source. So we have three clocks for driving the CCD. And uh, then we will need a fourth clock for the AD converter of this microcontroller because essentially what we are doing is that 
we feed uh, the three clocks to the linear CCD. The master clock can be fed like randomly, so you just start a 2 MHz uh, square wave and you feed it to the master clock pin. But the ICG and the SH uh, signals uh, have to coincide in a certain manner, so the pixels will be shifted out from the uh, CCD in a proper way. And in addition to this, it's not only that the pixels have to be shifted out in a, in a certain way, but uh, you have to capture these pixels also in a well-controlled manner. So uh, because of this, you have to have a very careful timing between the triggering of the AD converter and the ICG and the SH uh, signal. So if these uh, three timers are set up correctly, then you can directly read uh, the output of the AD convert output of the linear CCD, sorry, uh, by the AD converter, and then uh, you can send out this uh, set of data on on the USB port and capture it with the, your uh, computer. So that is uh, quite a or this project uh, from a programming port, uh, point of view is a somewhat demanding task because uh, you need to take care of four timers. Uh, three, four feeding the signals, the clocks, and one extra for timing the AD converter. And then you need to quickly read the AD converter, so we will have to use DMA. And then uh, we also have to solve the USB communication, so the data which is generated by the CCD uh, will be sent uh, to the computer via USB, and we can uh, capture it. So I will write a, a full software for this thing and also I will write some sort of client software so we can uh, catch the data coming out from this. But now what I'm going to do is just I'm showing you that uh, this thing already works uh, in a way that I can drive this uh, CCD. So I have my oscilloscope here and uh, I will just uh, flip it so you will see the display but I will also uh, make a screenshot of the, of the signals and uh, we will see the outcome of these experiments. So let me uh, assemble the circuit and I will show you some cool things. So this is a magnified uh, sample and this is how the signal looks like when everything is, let's say, oversaturated. So this is basically just a single line here because all the pixels are oversaturated, overexposure. So then uh, we should see this signal. And now what I will do is that I will decrease the amount of light because there is a huge light uh, above us. And uh, then I will put something over the CCD uh, array uh, to show that we can capture the outline of uh, the object or the shape of the object uh, which we put on this CCD. And then I will show you the signal of that. So now as you can see I put a ring over this uh, CCD detector and that is basically the outline of the ring so you can see that it blocks uh, part of the CCD and now I will put the ring towards one side and uh, I will put another ring uh, yeah somewhere over it and we will see how that shape will uh, show up on the oscilloscope so now there are two rings on top of each other and they have a sort of a union and that's what we see so this is the thicker ring and then this is the thinner ring, but inside the, the thicker uh, washer. And then this is the thick washer. And then uh, here we have the other thin uh, washer. So that's how we see this. And then I try to find some other objects uh, nearby and uh, also put that over the CCD just to further show uh, how cool this thing is. So now what we can see is that I have this screw terminal placed on this and here we see a slope because actually the light is coming from this direction, there is a light up here as well, and then that casts a shadow over this part of the CCD, so then that shadow causes this uh, slope. And then uh, since the light on this side is quite sharply dropping because uh, we have the light source from this side, then this uh, thing drops or this line drops quite sharply and then here we have overexposure again but here where we block the CCD then the signal level is basically uh, one 
because uh, here we have the opposite. When the signal level is high, then we have dark pixels, and uh, when the signal level is uh, low, then we have bright uh, pixels. So let me find something more and uh, put over this uh, thing. And now I have just a bunch of cables. So you can see these are two cables, the blue and the yellow next to each other. So they cast a shadow together. And then we see the shadow of the green uh, light, uh, green uh, wire. And then we see the shadow of the red cable. And then there is a lot of uh, exposed pixels. So they are overexposured. So yeah, as you can see, I can drive this circuit and it works properly. So I can read out the uh, output with the oscilloscope and then show it to you. So as you can see, this is a very cool device and it can be used for a lot of things. And what I will uh, use this for, uh, I will build a displacement sensor and I will also build a spectroscope and I will also build a camera based on this. So there will be a lot of cool projects. So don't forget uh, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because uh, this will take some time and also a few episodes to produce everything in a proper manner. And uh, then you will see that uh, this thing can be used for a lot of lot of things. And uh, this CCD is quite cheap. So it's not a big investment to play around with this uh, stuff. And once I publish everything, you will not need an oscilloscope, for example, to uh, measure the signals and make sure that the timings are right because uh, everything uh, will be solved already here. So this was the demonstration. This was the first part of this series. I hope that uh, I made you interested and I hope that you will follow this uh, series. Please don't forget to visit my website curiousscientist.tech because you will see all the resources for uh, this project and also for other projects. And see you in the next video.